So welcome back, dear friends. And uh, so in the last video, we discussed about social identity theories and other hypotheses. And today let's understand about relative deprivation theory. So within which uh, uh, we'll be discussing about uh, what is a, you know, the relative versus absolute deprivation. So let's understand what is relative deprivation. So people feel deprived related to what they had in the past or related to people who have resources that they believe they deserve. So this is, it's like getting less than the standard. So they feel deprived. So it is either a person not uh, experiencing experiences or even comparing one situations with others. So this is how, you know, it, is, it deals and in some cases relative depression has been cited as a factor driving incidents of social disorders like rioting, looting, terrorism and civil wars. It means that they feel that something is substandard or lower than the standard that they actually see that they deserve and what they get is less than what the standard they kept either individual experiences or uh, when they compare with others. So this is, uh, you know, well organized or, uh, you know, they you know, join in social movements dedicated to obtain the things which they feel deprived of. So this is uh, social deprivation, uh, you know, related to deprivation theory where uh, there is, uh, you know, in relative deprivation, dissatisfaction and resent resentment will be there. And here, distribution justice will be there, which talks about unfairness and favoritism. And procedural justice will be there, where when we talk, there, we talk about unfairness of a process rewards destructions. So this is how, uh, you know, the related deprivation theory would lead to the, you know, prejudice, etc. And when we talk about uh, relative versus absolute deprivation, so absolute, absolute deprivation describes a condition in which household income falls below a level needed to maintain the basic necessities of life such as food and shelter. But relative is something which a level of poverty at which household income drops to a certain percentage below the country's median income. So that's what the difference between absolute and relative deprivation. deprivation. So this, this brings us uh, an understanding between the different uh, theories and we talk about uh, social identity theories and uh, you know social context within the you know of uh, prejudice. So in the next videos we'll try to talk about. Uh, so as of now we completed the theories etc. So we will be talking about uh, applied psychology, health, uh, especially health, environment, and law personal space, crowding, and territoriality. So these things will be discussed in the next videos. Thank you for watching. And uh, hope these videos are helpful for you guys. And uh, definitely share for the NET UGC, NET UGC aspirants. So, and uh, get benefited. Thank you.